So, SU, welcome to the Drive for Innovation. Thank you for coming. Thanks for your time. Um, you have a fascinating story in that um, you had a day job, and 10 years ago you just decided to start a manufacturing company That's outside correct. of Vancouver That's correct. Um, in a world in which there's a lot of contract manufacturers. Plus, you're not far from the, the contract manufacturing center of the universe, Asia, where it makes the landscape really hyper-competitive. Mm -hmm. Talk about why you decided to start the company. Previous company was the uh, really largest uh, computer manufacturer. I don't know, my heart really liked manufacturing. So even though I quit that previous job, I did not think that the other uh, work, you know, just so I want to be manufacturer. Uh, so that after we, I, after I left the company, I started selling the small part. Uh, but you know, at the end, that the one, I think around six months after, I started the, the manufacturing. That you know, the, there is uh, another uh, mm -hmm. story that how I started manufacturing. But really, I love the manufacturing. You bring a lot of design expertise into those customer relationships to, to add value, right? That's correct. The, when I start this business, uh, especially manufacturing, manufacturing, we cannot compete only that, you know, the, with that manufacturing capability because other people can do the same as we do. So we provide some other service that can really make a good, strong relationship with the customer. So we provide, okay, Let's provide this tech, uh, you know, the design that the, and the development service. Uh, so any customer come to us for the manufacturing, I'm asking, do you need any development service uh, or that the design service? Sometimes we do the free. Sometimes we charge very, very less than the cost. Uh, at, after that, we can start the manufacturing. So in 10 years, you've gone from basically you to a company of how, how many people? Now uh, around 40 people. 40 uh, people yeah. in 10 years. 10 years. That's yeah. pretty good growth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it was pretty tough. Still, I worry about that, how I pay that the 40 people. You know? But the, so for the last 10 years, almost 11 years, I never missed the payroll. I'm happy. Thank God. <laughs> so you plan to double, maybe triple your revenues in the next few years. How, how are you going to do that? We did not really persuade the Tonki solution. Because the industry is uh, still that uh, up and down, not stable, so we ask that our customer provide a part. So even the same manufacturing uh, side, uh, we provide a turnkey solution. We buy from some part from local distributor. We add that you know that, that part. So consider we are building one product. Actual value is thousand dollar, but we are charging only fifty dollar to manufacturing. So from fifty dollar to thousand dollar what five thousand dollar or hundred dollar is just buying part and in store that's all about so from that the, just a ten million dollar to even twenty million dollar thirty million dollar I don't think that the really big issue and now that we are covering by our insurance air insurance company bank support us insurance company support us so without much risk we can go to that uh, you know turnkey solution another one is we developed several other product now the led product we developed for you know the some market and the special industry product and also security you know data security product we uh, we, we uh, actually developed this product now we just Actually, we suppose lunch at the end of this month, uh, is to tomorrow or or early next week, kind of thing. Right. So this one is we did not really consider that eleven, but this is next year. Definitely, it would generate that our eleven. So so you can see it, overall manufacturing itself will grow because of Tonki solution, and uh, also there would be some more revenue from new technology product. Oh.